Good morning children. Welcome to EVS class. Today we'll be starting with a new chapter our government. Before talking about the government of India, let us first discuss what do you mean by government? The word government has been derived from the Latin word governo which means to rule or to mind or to take care of the people around you. The government of India has been elected by the people of India itself. So, the government of India is a democratic government. The India is a democratic country, which means the government is always chosen by the people of India, for the people of India, and amongst or of the people of India. So, we can say that India is a democracy or it is the democratic country. India is the largest democracy in the world. Our country, India, has 29 states and 7 union territories, which are taken care by the government. For the smooth functioning of the country, the government of India has been divided into two levels. Number one, the central government, which is also known as the union government. Number two, the state government. The powers of both of these levels, both of these governments have been mentioned clearly in the constitution of India. The constitution of India, also known as the preamble, is a set of rules or guidelines which were made on 26th of January 1950, which is now celebrated as the Republic Day of India. These rules have to be followed by each resident of India. Talking about the first government, that is the union or the central government. It is basically responsible for looking after the whole country. It is for the governance of the entire country and is situated in the capital, New Delhi. The main responsibility of this government is to implement or take action and take care that all the laws and all the rules are made and followed by each resident of the country. These laws are made by the parliament, which is the chief law-making body of the country. Yes, it is the chief law-making body of the country, which is responsible for making the rules which have to be followed by all the residents. It also takes care that law and order is maintained in the country. It takes care of the natural resources. It takes care of the armed forces, such as navy, air force and the army. It takes care that no crime is there in our country and if there is a criminal then he has to be punished by the government. Now let's talk about the Parliament of India in detail. The Parliament is the chief law-making body of the country. It basically consists of two houses. Number one Lok Sabha also known as the lower house of the Parliament. Number two Rajya Sabha also known as the upper house of the parliament. The members of the Lok Sabha are directly elected by the people. They are elected for almost five years. They are called the members of parliament or in short MPs. The total strength of Lok Sabha is 552 out of which two members are nominated or chosen by the president. The rest 550 members are elected by the people of the country, people of India directly. The tenure of Lok Sabha is 5 years. This house can be dissolved, means the powers from the members of this house can be taken even before the expiry of the tenure of 5 years. The person who manages all the proceedings, all the actions to be taken place in the Lok Sabha is known as the Speaker. Coming to Rajya Sabha, which is also known as the upper house of the parliament, its members are elected by the Legislative Assembly. The Legislative Assembly is one of the houses of the state government which we will be studying about in the further chapter. But for now, let me tell you that these members are elected by the Legislative Assemblies. The Rajya Sabha can have a maximum of 250 members, out of which 12 are nominated by the President and the rest 238 members are elected or chosen by the Legislative Assemblies of the state. The tenure or the work period of Rajya Sabha members is 6 years, but one third, third members retire after every 2 years. So, 
we can understand by this that every time every 2 years the 1/3 of the total population of the rajya sabha members they retire from their job and then new members are elected it cannot be dissolved as like the lok sabha it cannot be dissolved it is a permanent house when we talk about the union government we need to talk about the two important persons of the union government that is the president and the prime minister first let's discuss about the president the elected members of lok sabha the rajya sabha and the legislative assemblies they together elect or choose the president of india he has a tenure of around 5 he is the head of the state and first citizen of india he is the supreme commander of all the indian armed forces may be navy army or the air force the responsibility is to manage all the powers in accordance with the constitution it ta- he takes care that all the rules are being followed which are mentioned in the constitution he is assisted by a council of ministers a bill passed by the parliament only becomes a law it only is followed by rest of the residents of india only if the president approves it a bill passed by the government beca- becomes a law only if it is passed by the president of india currently the prime minister of india is mr ramnath kovind talking about the prime minister of india Mr Narendra Modi ji is the current prime minister of India. He has been chosen as the prime minister of India the second time. The prime minister is the head of the government. He or she is elected by the members of the Lok Sabha in consultation with the president. He is responsible for the smooth functioning of the country and also takes care that whatever laws and policies he has been making for the country are being executed well by the other council of ministers. The prime minister and the council of ministers are answerable to the parliament. He is also responsible for maintaining law and order in the country and taking care that all the things are running smoothly in the country whether it be the relations with other country whether it be the armed forces and everything going on in our country. So he is basically the head of the government. With this we come to the end of the class thank you children